Apple, and we're live. Hey, everybody. Welcome to our Tuesday Live. We missed you last week because I have something I'll share with you guys later. It's a nice project that I worked on with some high school youngsters. A great opportunity to uh, uh, to invest in our our next generation. I was going to say the ones who take over for us eventually. Yeah. Uh, but uh, we missed you. Glad you're here with us tonight. An opportunity to worship. Uh, I've been sharing, making sure that you uh, are knowing that we're going to be joining together tonight. So um, whether you're on our uh, River page, Jeff Mercer Band page, or just my own profile, or you're on our YouTube, it's great to have you. And uh, we're going to be worshiping tonight, focusing, uh, this is our second week in a new series of, of James. And so our focus this Sunday is on the second section, starting at verse 19. We'll read through it. Uh, but a focus on love doesn't exactly directly say that, but there's lots of cool <laughs> phrases that you'll hear in that passage that will tie into a lot of the songs that we are going to be singing and playing through tonight. <laughs> Let me say hello, Mark. Great to have you, sir. Missed you. It's good to see you. He has a great heart and a great uh, prayerful sensitivity. He prayed for me earlier as my anxiety was in full flare. And I appreciate that about you. Thanks, man. And then Greg Atosius, how you doing, sir? Just fine, my friend. How you doing? Doing fantastic. You, you only brought four strings with you tonight. I, I, I decided to take it easy on my on my brain tonight and just take care of four. It's all right. You can do magical things with four strings. <laughs> it's good. Speaking of uh, chords and strings, hey, how's your vocal cords there, Miss Terry Bear? I think they're okay. Doing well. <laughs> fantastic. And then we've got a few guests here. We've got uh, the wonderful Mr. Bill. And uh, and our percussion support, Miss Natalie, great to have you. Uh, we'll start with a call to worship. This is the third week of Easter, so you'll have that Easter connection with it. And again, we're going through a few songs. We even have a special song, Miss Terry, don't we? And mm -hmm. uh, we're introducing a, a new song. It's an it's called Ancient of Days, but it's not your Ancient of Days that we've played before. It's a new one actually 2018 if i'm not mistaken so it's already been around for six years city of light covers it and then you caught it on anchor hymns which is a, a newer album is that right yes all right just making sure i got the information correct and already yolanda has said hello hi, hi mom, mom. <laughs> <laughs> this is mother <laughs> oh, it's exciting yo uh, yo 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 <laughs> Great opportunity to worship together. And uh, again, whether you're out there or not, this is for me. An opportunity to worship and get right uh, as, as I focus on the Lord and off of my own craziness out there. Well, let's begin with our call to worship. This is the good news. The grave is empty. Christ is risen. Hallelujah. This is the good news. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness can never put it out. Hallelujah. This is the good news. Once we were no people, now we are God's people. Hallelujah. Christ is our peace. That's an important one. The indestructible peace we now share with each other. Hallelujah. Did I push a I, I went to push the next button here and I pushed <laughs> something over there. We've got a different monitor up here that we're playing around with today. Uh, well, we start with a great invitation. I am that poor man that cried, and the Lord heard me. He saved me from my enemies. Amen. Amen. Are you ready, Miss Terry? <laughs> oh, I'm waiting. <laughs> yeah. Hmm? Ready? Oh. <laughs>
can count on one thing. The same God that never failed will not fail me now. Will not fail me now in this waiting. The same God that never late is working all things out. Is working all things out.
Amen. Loving the comments, not ignoring you, just in the moment, just praising the Lord. Amen. Lisa loved the beat we started with on Psalm 34. Love that beat. <coughs> Brian Disselberg's out there listening. You are all rocking it, he says. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, watch out. <laughs> rocking like this. Well, like that. <laughs> Zach, all the way from Arkansas. I mean, wow. Arkansas, Arkansas. Hanging out with us. Love it. God bless you too, my friend. Miss you. <coughs> Coming into town soon, I think, right? We're grabbing breakfast or lunch or whatever we're going to do. And Tomas, good to see you out there too. Loving it. Thanks for sharing it. I saw your post earlier. You always do such a good job of sharing that we're gathering. So thanks for that. We got a new song for you. Are you ready for it, Miss Terry? I think so. We'll get some fun. It's got a fun little groove to it that we really like. <laughs> I got to remember to sing my part. We got this.
was a Natalie approved song. It's a nice little groove, isn't it? It's a pretty song. Moves around a little bit. I like that little phrase. <laughs> yeah, get it. Oh, I love it. Sorry. No, it's good. <laughs> we should do an instrument show and tell every now and again. It's good. Well, the scripture that we're reading is for Sunday morning. I want you to catch some of the phrases that we've sung, and I'll point out a couple more in some songs we're about to. But it starts at verse 19. The title of this in the, the NIV is Listening and Doing. Uh, not that many songs out there about doing. Just throwing that out there. Okay. And it starts off, My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen slow to speak, and slow to become angry. I need to be reminded of that. I'm a talker. <laughs> because human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires. Therefore, get rid of all moral filth and the evil that is so prevalent and humbly accept the word planted in you, which can save you. Humbly accept the word that's planted in you. Do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. Anyone who listens to the word but does not do what it says is like someone who looks at his face in a mirror and after looking at himself goes away and immediately forgets what he looks like. But whoever looks intently into the perfect law that gives freedom and continues in it, not forgetting what they have heard, but doing it, they will be blessed in what they do. Those who consider themselves religious and yet do not keep a tight rein on their tongues deceive themselves, and their religion is worthless. Religion that God our Father accepts as pure and faultless is this, to look after orphans and widows in their distress and to keep oneself from being polluted by the world. This is the word of the Lord. Some key phrases in there that I that I've been praying over today in preparation for tonight. There's a piece I mentioned earlier that hum humility to humbly accept the word that is planted in you. The word has to be planted in you for that to be the case, right? The important part, the, the important part, which can save you. That's a big deal. And then to have self-control. Right? To keep a tight rein on their tongue. Growing up, my mom used to tell me that I had a sharp tongue. That with it I could cut very hard, and I'm, I've never forgotten that. I still have trouble with it, but I've never <laughs> forgotten the phrase. So, to not be polluted by the world, to keep oneself focused on the things that the Father accepts as pure and faultless. It says to look after orphans and widows, so to serve, to care. And those are some phrases that you'll hear in the next few songs. I like that um, as God calls us to not be angry, not to be slow to speak and slow to become angry, our next song will speak to that. In verse 2, it says, your name is great. No, nope, it's the, f the first part of it. You're rich in love and you're slow to anger. That's who Christ is, therefore calling us to do as well. <coughs> the next song after that, Speak, O Lord, uh, a line that sticks out to me. Um, Take your truth and plant it deep in us. Along many other lyrics in there, that's, the, that's a piece that ties it in. And uh, the song that will be our response on Sunday, To Be Known by Love. Lots of lyrics in there that will tie that in, but it's the doing part, right? And then we'll uh, we'll end with uh, being able to share his love, his great love forever. We continue. Worship His 
Yeah, it's a beautiful, I mean, beautiful words. It's been years since I've played it. It's from 2005. It's uh, Keith Getty and Stuart Townend, and they are the ones that wrote in Christ Alone. Oh, which other ones? Uh, there's so many others. Why does my brain stop? Um, that, was, that was really moving. Yet not I, but through Christ Yet not I, but through Christ in me, I think is one of theirs. Just some, some, some beautiful hymn-like uh, songs. How Deep the Father's Love. Another one. Amen. That was yeah. Thanks, guys. So we continue with another song uh, that we did a few uh, series series ago. This one's known by love. Back home. 
Amen? <coughs> to be his hands and feet in our hearts, in our world. Send a revival. That's a prayer. That's, that's a daily prayer I need to pray. Mm. Not often we sing about God's justice either, right? Oh, and his mercy. Amen. Well, we've got one more song to share with you guys. Let me bring attention to Yolanda, who said amen right after the scripture. Be doers of the word, she says. Amen. And Harold, Harold Milligan out there hanging out with us. Harold! Hark! Hey. Hark! <laughs> Hark, it's Harold. <laughs> well, we got one more song to sing with you. Uh, let's see how many of you guys make a comment. Terry's uh, not scheduled on Sunday, but uh, she doesn't have anything else to do. So um, <laughs> uh, why don't you send a comment saying, saying, come sing with us, too. Please, please come sing, sing with us. Please sing with us. So much Greg will be there. I'll be there. Come on, Terry. <laughs> and and she sings this next one so beautiful. Harold said, hey, brother. Yo, bro. There it is. Yo, brozine. <laughs> Shall we sing one more?
fucking love it. I always go back and go. Oh, I was probably. You can come in, Raj. Great to ha- great to have you, sir. We're b- we're praying for you and your your procedure. That's tomorrow, correct? Oh yeah. Oh, you want you can come over here. come over here, Raj. We're gonna we're gonna pray for you real quick. Yeah. You. Everybody say hi to Raj. You can see yourself right there. Raj, you want to tell us what's going on for you for tomorrow, and we will be praying. We'll pray with you. Oh, sure. Yep, I'm uh, going to have a pacemaker installed about 9:30 tomorrow morning, and uh, hopefully that takes care of all my heart issues. So Absolutely. Well, we we'll pray that for a successful procedure, and and I, I, as far as I know, you you don't think this is going to keep you down for very long. Um, four to six week recovery totally, but uh, uh, I don't know what the doctor's restrictions are going to be yet, so we'll find that out tomorrow. Okay. We'll pray for a great procedure, and everybody that's out there, let's pray for him right now together. Okay, thank you. Lord, what a blessing it is to have Raj in our life and his gift of, uh, of serving you and for all the years of teaching that he's given to the students in this world that have grown up and, and loved science and loved running and, and the, just the example he's been in our lives uh, and how he praises you with his voice and, and his hands, and he serves at the church, and he's just always been such an inspiration and a gift in my life. Lord, we pray for for his heart, for his body, that you uh, uh, you will bring this procedure um, as an opportunity for him to continue to thrive uh, and serve you as he um, recovers. Lord, I pray for a quick recovery. Um, his body is is uh, is tough, but uh, we know we we need to rely on your strength and and remind him to to rest as he needs rest. But Lord, I pray that you guide the hands that will um, they'll be working on him. That you will. Uh, cause the, uh, the the pacemaker itself to work beautifully um, and that all will go well, uh, that he can come out to the other side and, and say, God, your hand was on him and um, helped him recover and he will continue to serve you and, and to uh, just be a light to all of us. And so, Lord, I also pray for his wife, uh, Carolyn, as she, as she helps, uh, uh, helps him recover well and, uh, and the rest of the family as they gather around just help us all as a church family uh, be a support to them as well but god i'm so thankful for raj and and your hand on him through this procedure it's in your name we pray in the name of jesus christ amen amen, amen. thank amen. you so much man Appreciate my pleasure all right love you my friend love you too, guys. And love you guys too. he's in, he's going to a meeting here that's starting in a few minutes and he was just hanging out and i mm-hmm. called him in to hang out with us yep totally spontaneous i love it i love it <laughs> Well, very cool. It's a neat setup in here. Come sing with us anytime once you're recovered. Not not until not until. Yeah. Well, anyway, blessings to you guys. Look at that, Yolanda. This is Greg's mom. is is saying uh, that she's praying for you. Harold says amen. Uh, lots of people out there just chiming in, and and they'll be seeing this over the next few days as well. What time is your procedure tomorrow? Nine thirty. Nine thirty in the morning. We'll be praying. All right. Thank you, guys. God bless you guys. I like your shirt too. Oh, yeah, that's for the occasion. I love yeah. it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> oh, who kn- I don't think <laughs> I have one either. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. No, no, it's a design that Terry made. Revive us again. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right. And blessings to you guys. Have a great night, everybody. I got this here. And bye.